Hello everyone and welcome to Tea Tuesday. I like to thank Kathy and Kathy's favorite things and Patty Life with Patty for putting on this collab. This is an open collab and it's tea. And today my tea is sweet tea. You can have hot tea, cold tea. The tea can be formal, informal, however you want to do it. You can do a craft, you can read, you can chat, you can do whatever you want during tea time. I will put the link down below and um, it's all lower hashtag Tea Tuesday. So you know what we got? We got hello, Mr. Twiddle. So let's get started. We are on chapter eight. And by the way, if nobody knows, my name is Brenda. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that bell because you never know what's going to be on my videos. And neither do I. So here we go. Mr. Twiddle's mistake. Oh, Mr. Twiddle. At 10 o'clock every night, Mr. Twiddle let the cat in and took the dog out to his kennel. If he ever forgot, Mrs. Twiddle always reminded him. The cat was usually waiting outside to come in, and the dog was usually quite ready to go out to his nice, cozy kennel, lined with warm straw. One ten at 10 o'clock, or oh, one night, excuse me, one night at 10 o'clock, Mrs. Twiddle looked at Mr. Twiddle. He was fast asleep in his chair and his head nodding over his book. Time for bed. Twiddle, said Mrs. Twiddle sharply. Wake up, it's 10 o'clock, time for bed. Ooh, said Mr. Twiddle, opening his eyes with a jerk. Urgh. What, what did you say? My dear, I wasn't asleep. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yes, you were, Twiddle, said his wife, folding up her knitting. Come along now, it's ten. So up they went to bed, Mr. Twiddle still feeling very sleepy. He quite forgot about the dog and cat, but Mrs. Twiddle remembered. Twiddle, have you let the cat in? And what about the dog? Oh, brother, said Twiddle, sleepily putting his coat on at once. Well, I'll go down again. Down he went into the dark hall. He whistled to the dog to come to him. Then he opened the door. It was quite dark outside. Twiddle felt an animal against his legs and he thought it was a dog, but it wasn't. The dog was lying on the couch, feeling rather guilty because he hadn't answered Mr. Twiddle's whistle and gone to him, but he felt as though he would rather sleep indoors that night because it was cold. Oh, poor dog anyways. It was the cat that Mr. Twiddle had felt it had come indoors and rubbed against his legs. Come on, come on, said Twiddle, thinking it was a dog. He went out into the yard where the kennel was. He couldn't see a thing, and he only knew he had to come to the kennel when he bumped into it. The cat came with him, rubbing against him. Go into your kennel, think Tinker said Twiddle, thinking he was talking to the dog. Usually he heard Tinker's paw running into the kennel, but he didn't hear them tonight. So he put out his hand, touched something warm, thought it was Tinker, and pushed him into the kennel. But it was the cat he pushed. Mr. Twiddle shut the kennel door, as he always did on cold nights. Now the dog was safe. Oh, Mr. Twiddle, he wouldn't like it if he was shoved into a kennel outside in the cold, even though he had hay, would he? He went back into the house and bolted the door. He went upstairs. The dog lay on the couch, feeling very guilty and ashamed of himself and wondering why Mr. Twiddle hadn't fetched him. And when Mr. and Mrs. Twiddle were fast asleep in bed, the dog 
crept upstairs to them. He laid down under the bed, not daring to wake Mr. Twiddle. He soon fell asleep. But Tinker always snored when he laid on his tummy with his head on his paws, and soon he began to make a little doggy snore. <gasps> Mrs. Twiddle woke up with a jump and sat up in bed. She listened. <sniffs> Went Tinker dreaming in the bones and biscuits. Twiddle, said Mrs. Twiddle in a fright. There's somebody in the room. Twiddle woke up in astonishment. He sat up too. The noise awoke Tinker under the bed and he sat up well and stopped snoring. There was silence. All three we're listening. There's no, there's nobody, wife, said Twiddle crossly. What the noise sound like? Well, it really sounded like Tinker snoring, said Mrs. Twiddle, puzzled. I suppose you did put the dog in the, in the kennel, Twiddle. Of course I did. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... Settling down comfortably, go to sleep, wife. Mrs. Twiddle lay down and Tinker laid down and he made a big bump on the floor as he did so. And in a second, Mrs. Twiddle sat up again. There, did you hear that? It's a bump, she cried, but Twiddle was asleep. So as she heard nothing more, Mrs. Twiddle lay down soon, but soon Tinker began to snore again and Mrs. Twiddle woke Twiddle by shaking him hard. There's the noise again, she said. Oh, do wake up, Twiddle, that's dreadful. Twiddle awoke, he felt angry. He laid and listened, but Tinker was now awake again. He didn't snore. He was still feeling ashamed of himself because he hadn't gone to his kennel. He was he wanted to lick his master and missus, and he was sorry. Very quickly, he crept from under the bed and sniffed till he found Twiddle's hand hanging down by the bed. He licked it with his warm, wet tongue. Twiddle was most surprised. He simply couldn't imagine what that wetness was. He didn't like it. He took his hand away. Tinker was sad. He went to where Mrs. Twiddle laid on the other side of the bed. He, he put out his tongue and licked his nose. Ooh, squealed Mrs. Twiddle in fright and sat up at once. Twiddle, something licked me. I tell you, licked me on my nose too. Tinker wasn't in his kennel. I think it was he who was who was here, said Mrs. Twiddle. Light the lamp. Twiddle lit it, and at once Tinker jumped up on the bed in delight. Mrs. Twiddle gave another squeal. What is it? Oh, it's you, Tinker Twiddle, you bad, untruthful man. You said you put him in the kennel. How dare you tell such a story? Well, I did put him in there, said Mrs. Twiddle, Twiddle, Mr. Twiddle, feeling as if he were in some kind of peculiar dream. But I'm not going out and put him in there again, wife. If there's a, if there's a tinker in the kettle and a tinker here too, we've got two dogs, that's all. Good night. He went to sleep at once. Mrs. Twiddle pushed Tinker off the bed and went to sleep as well, very puzzled and very angry. Tinker just jumped on top of her and she dreamed of elephants sitting all over her night long, all night long, poor Mrs. Twiddle. And in the morning when Twiddle went to see if there was another Tinker in the kettle, he was out, he was out a very angry the kennel. He let out a very angry cat who spat 
at him and scratched him, ferocious at having to be shut up all night long when she badly wanted to hunt mice. It serves you right, Twiddle said his wife when she saw the scratch. If you don't know the difference between a dog and a cat at night, it's just about time you learned. There you go, folks. We're on chapter nine for next week. I have something to tell you real quick about a cat. I was out mowing today. I mowed only about three acres, just a small little area. And um, all of a sudden, I'm in, I'm in the woods part. And of course, you know, we're having problems with bears here. And I thought, oh, something jumped me. It's got to be a bear. Well, out came a big orange cat. I have no idea where the cat came from, but it scared me so bad. I think it scared the cat too. So we're gonna have to get some cat food and put it out for the poor thing. Okay, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow um, on Wednesday. Not sure what's gonna be happening on Wednesday yet. Could be Grammy's DT meals and more, or it could be something different. With me, you never know. So in the description box below, check out Tea Tuesday, Loa Hash. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Patty, for hosting the Open Collab. Everybody have a great day now. God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.